Hey, good afternoon. This is Coach Jill with FitLife, and uh, thank you for joining me today for our webinar on juicing and um, lean muscle building. I have Coach Penny joining me today. Penny, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Excellent. So um, we're excited to be here. Um, we're so glad that you have an interest in how to incorporate juicing um, with body composition and lean muscle building. So um, one of the things that I really enjoy about our program is the fact that it's customizable um, no matter what your goals are. And so today we're going to focus on how to reach those goals um, when you are looking to um, get more of that lean muscle mass and um, focus on your body composition. So maybe you've done your weight loss piece already and now you're looking to get um, a little bit more tone um, maybe you're looking to put on some weight. Maybe you're learning, looking to put on some muscle. Um, we're going to focus on that today on this webinar, and uh, we're really excited to share some some great information with you. So, um, if you uh, have questions, feel free to plug them in, and uh, we're going to dig into some great uh, information here. So let's get started. Um, and I want to first of all talk about um, the four pillars of our program. Uh, what's unique about our program and different from other programs that are out there is that we really focus on the four pillars, whole food nutrition, juicing, fitness, and mindset change. And um, the, the one unique piece, well, there's several unique pieces about our program, but the one unique piece that we really focus on throughout the program uh, is that mindset change and how to really dig in and focus on um, how you view food differently, um, how you're fueling your body, and really um, how to move past and lean into um, the failures and the fear that you have about reaching your goals. So if something's holding you back and sabotaging you, we're going to help you uh, work through that and uh, push forward to reach those goals. But today we're going to focus on how juicing um, really falls into this and how you can incorporate juicing into getting that healthier body that you're looking for. It's not impossible. Um, and it's just requires a little bit of tweaking <laughs> from our, from our weight loss portion of our program. So first of all, um, and I always like to talk about this, it's, you know, we, and we hear this often, why do you incorporate juice? Why, why at fit life do you incorporate juice? Well, um, juicing has, um, quite a few benefits actually. And there's a lot of information out there on juicing. Um, you will hear um, everything from juicing is so good for you to juicing is not the best thing for you. But we like to come somewhere in the middle and we like to have uh, show you the benefits of how incorporating juicing into your nutrition plan. And most. So um, when you juice, um, you are removing the pulp. Uh, so you are getting in that juice, you're getting the, the whole food nutrition all power packed into into that lovely juice we remove the pulp out and when you drink that juice um, you're going to get a rapid absorption of all that good um, nutrition and because you don't have to digest the pulp so in your digestive system when you consume juice um, you are going to start absorbing that in the stomach and it's going to finish absorbing in the small intestine. So that's going to take about 10 to 15 minutes. You're going to get the full absorption going on because there's nothing to break down. Um, there's no fiber to break down. Now, not saying that we don't um, believe in uh, incorporating fiber into our diets. We absolutely do. Um, we use lots of, uh, you know, fiber in our diets. <laughs> we, we, our, our meals look are, are filled with vegetables. So we do believe in using fiber. Um, but when you're juicing, the, the um, premise behind juicing is that you want to give your digestive system a rest. When you give your digestive system a rest, you are actually um, allowing it to, um, first of all, heal from anything that might be going on. Um, you're also allowing it uh, to, to um, um, and I'm completely blank on the word <laughs> that I'm looking for. You're allowing it to really um, refurbish itself and function better for you. 
our digestive system is composed of good bacteria and bad bacteria. And oftentimes um, with stressful lives and everything um, that we have going on, we tend to have more of the bad bacteria than the good bacteria. And that's when we get issues like reflux, um, leaky gut, irritable bowel, colitis. And so it's really up to you to make sure that you're incorporating the right foods uh, to make sure that your digestive system stays healthy and that your gut um, is, is as healthy as it can be to get the best results and the most absorption um, from the food that you eat. So that's one of the main reasons why we juice. Now, um, uh, what do you do if your gut is not in the best condition? Um, going into this, say you're ready to put on that lean muscle mass and you know, you're having issues, you're having some reflux, maybe you've got irritable bowel, maybe you know, you've got some digestive things going on. Well, um, juicing is going to be perfect for you because it's going to give you that opportunity to really repair what's going on uh, in your digestive system. Um, so we would recommend um, starting out light on your juicing because you're already at your lean, um, your lean weight. So this is not about weight loss for you. This is about really incorporating that good whole nutrition in and getting the benefit of that. And at the same time, you know, working on healing your gut. So when you start juicing, um, add in one juice per day rather than adding, um, going on an extreme juice fast right away because an extreme juice fast is not for you if you're looking to, to build in that lean muscle mass. Um, you're more looking at adding in juice to get the, the full benefits. Now, stepping back a second, you know, when you're just talking about issues with, you know, poor digestion, problems with your gut, it's really important that you correct those issues. And juicing will help to correct those issues, but you also need to incorporate things like a probiotic. Um, probiotics are the good bacteria that you need in your digestive system for it to work optimally. And you can get that through a probiotic supplement. Um, and there are lots of probiotic supplements out there. Uh, here at FitLife, we do have an incredible probiotic supplement. It's our Biotic Balance. Um, if you are not sure um, what, what probiotic supplement, I encourage you to try the Biotic Balance. It's got an incredible amount of the good bacteria that your, your system uh, needs. In addition, there's other natural ways that you can get that, that um, good bacteria back into your digestive system. Things like, um, first of all, fermented foods. Um, and if you're not sure what fermented foods are, um, <laughs> they are something that you wanna look for um, in the raw section in your store. Anything that you see that has the ingredient of vinegar in it, um, is not fermented. Um, so you want raw, you, it needs to be raw. Um, fermentation is the process of using um, either Celtic or pink Himalayan sea salt um, to ferment your foods. So you're going to be, um, you're going to be putting them in a salt water solution um, or adding salt to it and it's going to naturally ferment um, that good bacteria is going to form as it eats the sugars that are naturally in your food. So things like sauerkraut, kimchi, um, and, and I always say this, dilly beans. That's what I know from the Midwest, the dilly beans. I know Penny rolls her eyes at me because she's like, what? It's basically fermented green beans. Uh, <laughs> they're really good, actually. Um, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> fermented green beans, um, pickles, um, you know, um, the time is coming. This is the time of year, you know, as we get in the early growing season, perfect time for those pickles. You know, you'll get those, the, the mini cucumbers and those are perfect, they make perfect pickles. So, um, and it's simply done in a salt water solution. It's Celtic salt and filtered water added to your vegetables once they've been cleaned um, and uh, put them in a mason jar store them for about two weeks and then put them in the fridge and enjoy them. So um, it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. It's so good for you. You also have a couple other options um, to really clean up uh, your digestive system. You can incorporate things like kombucha. 
um, which is a fermented sweet tea. Uh, you can incorporate water kefir, and water kefir is fermented sugar water. Um, both of these can be flavored with natural juice, um, and you can do a second fermentation to get them nice and fizzy, so it's almost like drinking, uh, a, drinking a soda, um, but it doesn't have all of the sugar and the calories and the chemicals that soda has in it. It's very natural, um, and it's filled with live probiotics. Um, can you get kombucha in the grocery store? Yes, you can. You definitely can. You want to make sure that you are reading your labels. Um, you want to make sure that there is an expiration date on it and that it is relatively soon. Um, if it doesn't have an expiration date on it or the expiration date is way out, chances are it's been pasteurized to make it shelf stable. And when things are pasteurized, they're heated to a certain temperature. And by heating them to a certain temperature, uh, that will often kill off uh, the, the good bacteria that's in there. And that's the reason why you're drinking it. So um, make sure that it is um, listed as raw and that the expiration date is relatively close um, to the time that you're buying it. So um, let's get back to uh, let's get back to juicing and building muscle. So when you start to incorporate juicing in your nutrition plan, and you have the goal of building lean muscle, and you really have to focus on the fact that your goal is not weight loss. And that's okay, that's okay. Maybe you've done your weight loss already. Um, what you wanna do is you wanna simply start by adding in one juice per day. And you can accomplish that in several ways. You can make your own juices. You can, um, you can purchase juice from your local juice bar or Whole Foods. Um, and then your third option is to incorporate Organifi. Um, Organifi is our super greens powder. Um, it, it can be substituted for one green juice per day. We do recommend two servings per day for you. Um, that can be mixed up in water. Um, it's really easy, mixes in thoroughly, and it's delicious. Uh, so that can, that can be incorporated for, for a juice as well. Now, big question is, what should you be juicing? Well, you have a little bit more um, um, flexibility with your juices when you're looking to put on that lean muscle mass because chances are you're probably in the gym and you're probably working out to really get that lean muscle mass. So you can incorporate some sugar into your juices, things like green apple, carrot, um, beets, uh, things like that. Not all of them all together, but you know, one <laughs> one item per juice. Um, Add it along with your greens. So things like uh, romaine, cucumbers, celery. Um, what am I forgetting, Penny? Cabbage. Cabbage. Spinach. Parsley. Spinach. Kale. Kale. Yeah. And then you can you can actually enhance the flavor of those with things like lemon, lime, ginger, turmeric, um, herbs like parsley, uh, cilantro, mint. Um, I forget my other one. I can't think of it. Um, but that's a good place to start and you can um, when you are when you are trying to put on lean muscle it is okay to incorporate some some natural sugar in there so you know add a carrot add a half an apple um, add some beet to it um, that's okay it's okay so um, one of the things that we hear um, quite frequently is well I want to juice fast but I want to work out and you have to realize that there is a place and, and there is a place for juice with this. Can you juice fast? You can juice fast um, and still put on lean muscle. We don't recommend extended juice fasting for you. I would recommend one day per week, max of two days per week. Um, but I would really try and stick to one day per week. And you want to make sure that on the day that you are juice fasting, that it is not a workout day for you, um, mainly because when you are juice fasting, you're not, you're putting yourself into an induced uh, um, calorie deficit, which is fine. However, when you're putting yourself in that state, uh, your body is not prepared um, to support uh, a heavy workout. 
on those days. So make sure that when you are doing a juice fast that you're deciding to, uh, maybe it's going to be a rest day. Maybe you're going to do something light like take a walk or do some yoga or some stretching or some foam rolling. Um, in, in our coaching problem program, uh, when we get to um, our third level, uh, we recommend that our clients schedule a massage or, or, or acupuncture. It's a perfect time, a perfect thing to do on a rest day. Um, little self-care and you can still get the benefits of juice fasting in on those days. So, um, but you do not want to be doing extended juice fasts. Um, two, three, four day juice fasts are really not going to benefit you when you are trying to build that lean muscle mass. Um, you want to make sure that your meals are incorporating enough protein. And even when you're juicing, you want to make sure that you're incorporating protein. So you want to make sure that you're um, supplementing with protein powder, um, healthy fats, uh, things like coconut oil, avocado, uh, almonds, almond butter, cashews, cashew butter, olives. Um, those are great healthy fats and they can be supplemented in on those days when you're juice fasting. You do want to alternate those. So protein, healthy fat, protein, healthy fat. Um, and you want to make sure that you're drinking enough juice. Uh, that's the other piece. Uh, when you are juice fasting, you are you should be drinking juice every two and a half to three hours. Uh, your the amount of juice that you drink that you, that you drink uh, can vary. It can be um, as little as 10, 12 ounces up to. Um, uh, Drew Canoli tends to drink more on the, <laughs> the 34 to 42 ounces of juice um, when he's juice fasting. And so you should drink enough juice so that you're feeling full, um, not over full, and you don't want to be hungry. So if you drink some juice and you still find that you're hungry, drink some more juice. Then in between your juices, you're going to make sure that you're staying hydrated. Hydration is so, so important, no matter whether you're in this for weight loss, you know, for, for health reasons, you know, or for putting on lean muscle mass, you want to make sure that you're still staying well hydrated. So 80 to 120 ounces of water. Um, as I tell all my clients, you know what, find a water bottle that you love and take it everywhere with you. Make sure that you've got it with you. I have one cup that's on my desk. I have another in my car. I have one in the bedroom. I keep water, water cups everywhere. Penny, are you the same way? Yeah, she's got her Organifi bottle there. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, my Organifi bar, a bottle goes in the car with me. <laughs> So, um, you know, you want to make sure that you are getting enough hydration in. It's so, so important. Um, and if you're, you know, finding yourself a little sluggish, a little tired, um, uh, maybe your skin's getting dry, your hair's getting dry, chances are it means that you're not taking in enough water. So you need to make sure that you're getting that water in. And we always hear complaints. Always, always, always. I'm in the bathroom all the time. Why am I always? Well, because you need to reach that certain level in your body. You need to have that base level, hydration level going. So you need to be drinking 80 ounces minimally every single day. When you're maintaining that amount and taking in that amount every day, the number of times that you run into the restroom are going to decrease. They will decrease. Am I, am I right on that, Penny? <laughs> Yeah, at first, you just take a book and you know, be prepared to stay in there. But it amazingly, it levels off. Like once you're fully hydrated, it, it's just so weird. I, and that's why I never liked water before I started this. I'm like, it goes right through me. I don't have time to go to the bathroom. So I wouldn't drink. I wouldn't. I was totally dehydrated. You know, and, and I had to believe Jill was my coach. And she kept saying, drink the water, drink the water. I'm like, okay, I did. And she was right. It does actually reach a point where it's, you go back to being normal. So right. it's true. You know, and there's one thing that I do want to mention too, and especially because we're getting into the warmer time of year um, in most climates. I think just about everybody's climate is warmer now. Um, Um, and when it's warm and humid and you're, you know, um, sweating off, um, you need to make sure that you're getting in extra hydration. Um, so drink extra water on those days when you're sweating a lot, when it's really warm. 
make sure that you're taking in that extra water. Same thing when you're at the gym. You know, when you're at the gym and you're working really hard, you want to make sure that you're continuously, you know, drinking water to replace what you are sweating out. So um, make sure that during those times, you know, if you're, um, it's getting warmer weather and you're drinking your 80 ounces and maybe, maybe your, your skin's a little dry, your hair's a little dry, you're feeling tired, you're getting those afternoon, the, the drowsies at your desk about two o'clock in the afternoon, chances are it means you need some water. So uh, make sure that you're adding in extra water during those times. Um, and as I said, just find a bottle that you love and take it everywhere with you. Get in that habit. And you know, you need to start that early in the morning. First thing when you get up, start drinking water. It initiates your thirst response and it's going to keep you drinking all day long. Um, and, and it's very true. I didn't believe this when I first heard this. Um, that it didn't make you, and it does, it really does elicit that, that thirst res response. So make sure that you, you know, first thing in the morning when you get up, at least eight ounces, at least eight ounces and get it in really quick. Um, then you're going to add in your lemon water, uh, and then you're going to drink throughout the day. So it's going to be really easy to get that amount of water in, very easy. So, um, now, um, you know, can you get your transformation? Can you reach your goals with juicing? Yes. Yes, you absolutely can. Um, we have had so many clients who have transformed their bodies. First, they've maybe gone through their weight loss process, and then they've decided, oh, you know what? I need those toned arms. I want that toned back. I want the six-pack abs. I, you know, I want all that. And yes, you can get that, and you can still juice fast. Um, and it's, it's not impossible. It's just following the program, staying on track, staying focused. Um, and the biggest piece, you know, we talk about this, we make everybody start off with this is your why identity. Why are you doing this? So when you're struggling, those times when you're struggling through this process, go back and examine your why, why are you doing this? Why do you want this for you? And I can almost guarantee that when you look at that why, it's going to give you that motivation to move forward and reach and stretch um, to accomplish your goal. It's going to happen. So we have um, many clients. I actually have one one of my coaches who um, she worked out like a fiend. She worked out like a fiend, and she wanted that six pack ab, and she just couldn't get it. And she came and did our ninety day. Uh, transformation program and she now has her six pack um, and she's very proud of that six pack and she never believed that she could get it without any juice and now she knows the power of juicing and uh, it works really well for her and uh, her name's Karen she lives in New Jersey um, and she's doing amazing things with that I have another one of my coaches who lives in Pennsylvania and uh, she lost her weight and she started doing very simple hit workouts and uh, I remember she called me up one day and she's like, I, I, I have great arms. I have muscle. I don't have that little, I don't have that little sagging skin under here anymore. And she was so proud. And she sent me over a picture and um, she still, she still maintains that today. So um, I realized that um, this is a lifestyle change. This is not a quick fix. And if you follow the program, if you stick with the program, you're going to maintain those results um, that you worked so hard to get. So, um, you know, that being said, um, I, I want to encourage you, you know, um, oftentimes you can push through those difficult times with the help of a coach and it makes it easier. Having that accountability piece sometimes is the key piece that's missing uh, when you're trying to push forward. So we all need some accountability. And uh, even us coaches continue to have uh, our accountability partners, and uh, it, it works out really well. So if you're ready, if this feels like the right fit, and you are ready to get lean, and you are ready to see those muscles that you've been wanting, maybe it's the six-pack, maybe it's those nice toned firm arms, uh, wh whatever it is, we can definitely help you achieve that. We have several options. Um, we have our private coaching. We have group coaching. Um, we have custom uh, meal plans. 
Uh, we've got something at every price level. So I'd love to connect with you um, and uh, help you decide what's the right um, program and move for you. Now, in addition, you know, if you'd like to try out any of our products that we talked about on this call, the Organifi, our probiotic, our turmeric supplement, um, you can use um, the code FGCLOVE, that's F-G-C-L-O-V-E, go over to OrganifiShop.com, enter that code when you order and you'll get 15% off your order. So uh, we'd love to, um, to have you join us. If you need more information or you're not sure what's the right fit for you, please feel free to reach out to me. It's Jill at FitLife.TV. That's G-I-L-L at FitLife.TV. Um, let's talk and let's figure out what's the right fit for you. And let's get you moving towards your goals, uh, no matter what they are. So if it's a six pack you're looking for, let us help you get that. So have a uh, great weekend, everybody, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.